Okay. Thanks. I think we have a ton. <laughs> I'm starving. Do you guys have any food? Oh God. <laughs> this is a date. No, no, it's it's not like a date date. It's more of a hey, I kissed you and I thought you liked it. Um hang thing. Jeremy, I need to make sure Elena's cool with us before anything else happens. I didn't realize my sister had approval over who I'm with. She's my best friend. I tell her everything. And this whole hang thing might freak her out. All right, all right. So we'll um we'll hang out, eat some food, uh, work on some spells. It's not a big deal. Cool. But you did you did like it, right? Good evening. Thank you for coming. Please, come in. Just one moment. Can I just say that if you have a less than honorable intentions about how this evening is going to proceed, I suggest you reconsider. No, nothing, nothing dishonorable. Just a getting to know you. Hmm. Well, that's good. Yeah. Because, you know, although Elena and I have this deal, if you so much as make a move to cross me, I'll kill you and I'll kill everyone in this house. Are we clear? Crystal. Jenna. Wonderful to see you again. How are you? You look incredible. Thank you. I hate to break it to you, Damon, but according to Elijah, your family is so not a founder of this town. Mm, do tell. Well, as I mentioned to Jenna earlier, a faction of settlers migrated from Salem after the witch trials in the 1690s. Over the next hundred years, they developed this community where they could feel safe from the persecution. Mm, because they were witches. You know, there's no tangible proof there were witches in Salem. And he's a journalist. Big on facts. Well, the lore says that there was this wave of anti-witch hysteria it broke out in the neighboring settlement. So these witches were rounded up. They were tied to stakes in a field together and uh, burned. Some say you could hear the screams from miles around us. They were consumed by the fire. Could you pass I, the... I uh, wouldn't repeat this to the historical society. <laughs> it's starting to sound a little like a ghost story to me. So why do you want to know the location of these alleged maskers? You know, healthy historian's curiosity, of course. Of course. Jonathan Gilbert got crazier and crazier. Because that's what happens when you spend your life obsessed with vampires. He researched the originals. I'm kidding. Later in life, look. Pages and, and pages of questions and scribbles. What's that? The wood from one tree and one tree alone, an ancient white oak, would bring death to an original vampire. When the tree burned, all hope was thought lost. He was trying to figure out how to kill an original. But the ash from the tree was saved, and witches forged a dagger to which the ash could be bonded. This alchemic bond provided the necessary poison. Why not? That I wonder if this is true. I mean, do you think this dagger actually exists? I know it does. Because John gave it to Damon. John gave Damon the, the weapon that's supposed to kill Elijah? This one. It must be brandished by humans alone, for it will bring death to all demons who wield it. John is trying to get Damon killed. 